everyone, welcome back to Cotto Verdi. My name's Annette, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, today is going to be one of my dahlia tours and I do these mini dahlia tours every year, kind of grouping dahlias into different types or different colors um, so that you know we can look at them all together and just compare one to the other and I think that's really useful. And today I'm going to be showing you um, all my dahlias that have got really big heads to them. So anything that's got what I consider to be a larger flower I'm going to be showing you those today. Now they may not all be like the dinner plate, official dinner plate ones, but they do have, you know, super large flowers and I think those are really interesting. So, you know, if you want to make a real statement in the garden, these plants can just, they just add such a big splash of colour because the flower heads are so huge. So I don't know what it is with the dahlias this year, but my dahlias are stupendous. I have had the most incredible floral display in my garden from all the dahlias it's just been really bad weather so it's been very difficult to film so I don't know whether the dahlias have enjoyed all this rain that we've been having but today's a gorgeous sunny day with blue sky finally and I think we're due fun thunderstorms tomorrow so um, today is probably a good day for me to do some filming and just take you for a walk around the garden to have a look at the dahlias that I've got. It's not going to be a full tour, I'm definitely going to do another full tour of my dahlias and I'm also going to do some more of the other mini tours. Um, so do subscribe to my channel if you want to see those so that you don't miss them and give the button, the like button a hit if you enjoy this video because that really helps me and I would really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get started with having a look at the these huge dahlias. So this is Happet Champagne. It's such a fluffy dahlia. I think it's really cute. It's not like the normal, very structured dahlias that you can get. And it's not a dinner plate dahlia, but it is this just ball of fluff. I think it's such a pretty color. It's a really soft pink with a lovely yellow center. It's not a bright yellow center. It's a nice pale yellow center. And these flowers seem to last a really long time. This dahlia is just over a meter tall. So it's over three foot. It's probably more like three and a half foot tall. So when you're cutting your dahlias, try not to, um, that's just dead petals from a previous one. Take those off. So when you're cutting your dahlias, follow the stem down and try not to cut your dahlias all down to here. I mean, unless you're deadheading them. So this is, um, I'm going to try and show you. This is where it joins the stem and there are more dahlias branching off. So if you cut it down to here, where this leaf node is, and you can see there's another new shoot, this new one is going to have a much thinner stem and it's just going to get taller and thinner. And then with these really big flower heads, it's gonna be really hard if it rains for the dahlia to hold itself up and then the branches just sort of break. So it's better to go down to the next leaf node down here and cut down there. So you've got a much longer stem and yes, you are sacrificing this dahlia that would have grown here and I'm sacrificing this dahlia here um, and this one here. But if I'd cut it here, the next dahlia would have grown, if I'd cut it here, the next dahlia would have grown from there. And then the stems just get thinner and thinner and they can't hold the dahlias up. So it's always better to cut further down and then the new shoots are going to come from the stem on the plant where you cut it here and that's where your new flowers will come from and they'll just be stronger. This is the next dahlia that always produces absolutely enormous flowers. It's called Mingus Alex and it's quite hard to show a red dahlia on film but actually I think the colour's coming out quite well. It's just this really lovely um, velvety red is how I would describe it and it starts off really deep and then as the flower ages the petals sort of fade a little bit as they go around the back of the flower. So Mingus Alex really is a statement piece in the garden. You can see it from a long way off and I absolutely love it. It's got a really pretty form and it's an absolutely beautiful colour and look how well it goes with the pinks and the Malope Vulcan that I've got over here. This one here is Jerry Hoke. So I'm going to go around the other side because the really big flower heads around there. This is, as I said, this is kind of my second flush. So this is a lovely nine bark here. And I think it goes really well with um, the Minkus Alex. And this lovely purple one here, 
Can you see that? That's called Rocco. And then this here is a mistake. So it's supposed to be another Jerry Hoke, but I've obviously been sent something completely different. I mean, it goes quite well with the Mingus Alex, but I don't know what it's called. I've absolutely no idea. And it's definitely not my style in dahlias. So I won't be keeping that particular tuber. So I'm going to cut this one here. And because this one is coming into flower and this one is about to flower, I'm not going to sacrifice those. And I am only going to cut this particular one down to here. I absolutely love this display here. This brings me so much joy. It's worked out exactly as I want it to. So this daily here is called Sweet Love. I'm not cutting that one today because the flowers are medium sized, but it's so pretty. It's pink with a really nice white center and it's super tall. So that's got to be at least four foot, four and a half foot tall, I think. And this daily here is called Honka Rose. And because it's an open flower, it's covered by pollinators. The flowers go over quite quickly, so I'm forever deadheading it, but that's not a problem. I still love it. It's so pretty. And obviously we've got, you know, the Cupcakes Cosmos in there as well. So this is the dahlia that I wanted to talk about here. This dahlia is called Bargley Blush, and it is the most perfect Barbie pink that fades to like a really soft pink around the edges. And it's so pretty. Look how many flowers there are. It's absolutely amazing. And it's got lovely big flower heads. This one is about four foot tall. So just over a meter. And I've got it planted next to my Eli Eliacnus Quicksilver. And I just think, I, I don't know, the silver leaves look so perfect with this pink. I think it sets it off beautifully. Up at the back there, this really tall one, that is called Edith Jones. And that is also super pretty, but I'm not cutting that one today either. This one here is called Penhill Watermelon and it's enormous and it grows super tall. So this one is, I'd say four and a half foot, nearly five foot, especially that one at the back there. Um, you can see that the pollinators are still trying to get in. That's the dahlia that I really want to cut. So I'm going to come back and cut that when the bees have finished with it because I don't want to disturb them. But this is the flower that I'm going to cut here and bring along with all the others. But Penhill Watermelon is, again, it's a really soft pink, but it's got these little hints of apricot and it's got a lovely sort of little yellow yellowness around the bottom of the petals there. And it's just got these gorgeous little sort of spiky bits coming out um, and it's super fluffy. It's a really fat, fat um, dahlia. So it really takes your breath away. Again, this is a really nice one to have in the garden. I find it harder to use it in arrangements because the flower heads are so big. But if you want a statement piece, you know, three of these in a vase will definitely make a statement. In the back here, I've got Cupcakes Blush and this is Rebecca here floating around. And then this dahlia in the bottom here, which you can't really see, and I need to deadhead it a bit. That one is called Maya. And then you can see I've got some tomatoes, which I've just scattered around my beds today. Oh, the bee's gone, so I'll cut that now. So this one here is called Hillcrest Kismet and it's such a pretty soft apricot colour. It's got some pink in it and some yellow but it's mostly just a gorgeous soft apricot. I really love it and I love the shape of this one. It's just a really fabulous fat ball shape. Now planted below it, this was supposed to be American Dawn but it's not American Dawn and I've been in contact with the supplier. They've given me a full refund. Um, and in fact, they did tell me what it was called, but I can't remember. I'm sorry, I'll put it up on the screen, um, but it's not one that I know. So I will have to put that on the screen. So this area is just bringing me so much joy. I absolutely love the colours and the shapes and just everything about what's going on here. 
The only slight fly in the ointment is that this orange one here, the ball, that's supposed to be Sweet Suzanne and it's not. Um, but this over here, this is Great Silence and Babylon Bronze at the back. And then this is the one that I want to talk about now. Oh, sorry, that's Happy Butterfly over there and La Corbiere. This one is called Babylon Bronze and these flowers can get absolutely enormous. It's quite short, so I'd say maximum, probably a metre, three foot, um, but the flowers can be enormous. So these flowers are, I mean, they are bronze, but they're kind of, as the season goes on, they change colour. So they did start off really orange. If I have a picture, I'll put it up on the screen, but um, they are definitely a paler colour now. Um, they've got these sort of little flushes of pink on the petals, um, but I would say that this is more of an apricot colour now um, than bronze. It's a very pale bronze. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one here. This really is a smaller version. They've been much bigger than this. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is still huge, but they get much bigger than this. Look at that. Okay, so in the background here, we've got some more great silence, and this is apricot cosmos that I've got floating around everywhere. But down here, in amongst all the flowers, is Myrtle's Folly which is this one here, and it really is a mad, mad dahlia. So this is Myrtle's Folly, and it is completely mad. I mean, Happet Champagne is a little bit crazy, but this one is so fluffy and it's got all the colours. It's got yellows, peaches, apricots, pinks, purple in the centre there, and it's completely mad. It's quite short. It's probably, you know, at the moment, it hasn't grown much taller than I'd say 90, 80 or 90 centimetres, but put them at the front of the border if you want something wild and beautiful. Look at all those colours and just the crazy petals. I love it. I really love it. Myrtle's Folly. This lovely purple one's called Vancouver and I chose it because um, my whole family, we love Vancouver. We've been there a few times and it's just a wonderful city and so it appealed to me and I wasn't sure I was going to love the dahlia as much as I love Vancouver, but actually I really do and it's huge, like it's got really big flower heads. This again is the second flush of flowers, so not only do they seem to be a little bit shorter but they are um, just a little bit smaller. Um, but I don't have a problem with that. It's easier to work them into arrangements. They look short here, but they're not actually as short as they seem because the bed is lower than where I'm standing. Um, so they're probably, they're about a metre tall, three foot. So they start off as this really deep purple with like these closed centres that are so cute. And then the one I'm going to pick today is this one over here, which is finished. And it's going over, but that's kind of, I think it's the biggest one I've got. Actually, this one here is big too. Let me pick this one. Different variations on a theme. So this is when it's coming out, it starts off really cute like that. This is sort of middling ground, but actually when I picked it, I realized that this one is going over a bit. That's probably all the rain we've had. They just go over faster. But this one has fared a little bit better and the center's still closed and I've picked it on a really short stem because there was another one that was about to flower. Um, but you can see the purple underside and how pale it gets. So there seems to be some variation in the colour. So here they are all arranged in a vase or in individual vases. So here we have Mingus Alex, Hillcrest Kismet. Um, in the front we have Happet Champagne, Babylon Bronze, Bargley Blush, both of these are Vancouver. I wanted to include them both. Um, this is Myrtle's Folly and Penhill Watermelon. And as you can see, they're all pretty much the same size. Now, definitely at the beginning of the season, your first dahlias are going to be super huge. And that's particularly true of Penhill Watermelon and Babylon Bronze. Actually, it's true of all of them. Mingus Alex, definitely have absolutely enormous ones. And I, Vancouver's new to me this year, but they were definitely really big in the beginning.
But that's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along and watching this video. And as I said before, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then do subscribe to my channel because I'm making, I'll be making loads more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.